In this video, we'll be looking at the WAN gateway. On the dashboard, you can see gateways, and these are two gateways right now. One is the WAN DHCP IPv6 gateway, and another is the IPv4 gateway. So where these gateways are created and how these gateways are created, once you configure interface initially when doing the installation. So when you configure WAN, of course, WAN gateways are automatically created. And if you want to see where are these WAN gateways, so you can click here on system, and in system, you can see here gateways and in gateways, you can see here the configuration. So these are two gateways which are configured here. If you want to see how these gateways are configured, so we configured WAN into the interfaces. If I take you back to interfaces, you can go here to WAN and in WAN, this is right now configured. So these are two type of IP addresses. One is IPv4 and then is IPv6. In case you don't have IPv6 on your WAN network, so you can disable it. You can just say none. In case you want to configure the IPv4 by yourself, so you can simply click uh, static and then you can define your own IP address. For example, I will do 192.168.100.200 suppose. If I show you here right now, what is the IP address? If I click on overview, in overview, you can see here my WAN has the IP address of 192.168.100.241 and the gateway is 192.168.100.1 and its routing is automatically defined here. So these are two gateways right now which are created. One is for the uh, IPv6 and one is for the IPv4. So I can go back here to the system. I can click on gateways. I can in, in fact create multiple gateways also here in case you have multiple gateways on your network in case you have the uh, VPN gateways so you can define those VPN gateways here and you cannot of course uh, delete these from here because these are by default created these are automatically created when you are configuring the interfaces but of course you can create the gateway by yourself if I click on plus here so I can choose for example a gateway which will be when gateway my telecom service provider's name, interface is WAN of course, and IPv address type, either you want to use IPv4 or IPv6, 192.168.100.1, and monitor IP also can be chosen here. For example, if I say monitor IP is 192.168.100.1 to make sure that if uh, it will continuously ping and we'll see if, the, if it is able to reach. I will simply click here, save, you can see here now this particular gateway is created. So if I try to ping right now, if I try to ping google.com, suppose I will just show you that how this uh, gateway is working. I'm getting the response. And if I go back to WAN, of course, WAN interface is configured as DHCP where it is getting the IP address automatically from the ISP service provider's router. Of course, you don't need to make any changes here. But in case if I change it from uh, the DHCP to static, and here also, for example, IPv6, I will make none. Then here you have to choose the IPv4 gateway here. So I have to first of all give the IP address to it. IP address of this will be 192.168.100.200, which will be 24 bit. And if I choose disable, of course, I won't be able to now get the internet access. And if I try to open anything now, for example, google.com, now because there is WAN is configured but I'm not able to uh, get the internet connection here. So you will see here command prompt and I will try to ping ping 192.168.100.200. I'm getting the response for this particular IP address but if I try to ping 192.168.100.1 I'm not getting the response because the gateway is not configured. I have not told uh, this particular WAN that your gateway is here and if I try to even open google.com or any website of course I'm not able to access now because the WAN gateway is not configured. So I will be simply going here and let me show you back again here in systems if I go to gateways so configuration you will see here that when I disable the DHCP from the WAN so the gateway which was already there these gateways had uh, disappeared from here but we manually created this particular gateway where we defined what is the gateway name and what is the address family and what is the IPv IP address. So uh, this is the gateway IP address and monitor IP address is also there. We can now assign this gateway to our WAN interface. I will be going back here to interfaces and in interfaces I'll go to WAN and in WAN when I 
manually provided the IP address, I will be going down here and IPv4 gateway. Now I will be choosing WAN gateway avasar, which is 192.168.100.1. Save the changes, apply the changes. Now till the time it applies the changes, then you will be able to ping to this particular IP as well. You can see here now I'm able to ping. And if I try to open any website, you can see here now I'm able to open the website as well. So this way you can manually configure the IP address on the WAN interface. Earlier we had the DHCP. So if you're configuring this particular device as your travel companion, I will recommend you to use DHCP not as a static IP. Now if you will try to delete the uh, gateway, I will go back here, configuration. And if I try to delete the gateway, it will not allow me. It will say me that the gateway is already being used by WAN interface. So if I want to delete it, I will be going back here to WAN. And in WAN, I can simply choose disable. So once I disable this, then I can delete it. But it's fine. I will be using this. I will not be deleting this. I will be using this WAN gateway, which I have manually created. And uh, right now it is working fine. So we will be looking at other aspects of OpenSense. Let us continue to next video now.